Natural Co-Creators show with Jennifer Lynch. Good morning, everybody. And this morning I have with me Detta Darnell, who is a creative life and business coach. And she's putting on a series of workshops very soon in Newmarket in Suffolk. And I'd like to pass you over to Detta, who is going to explain a little bit more about her workshops. Good morning, Detta. How are you? Good morning, Jen. I'm very, very well. Lovely, lovely to talk to you again. Brilliant. So what's happening with these workshops and what's, what's all this about, if you don't mind telling everybody? <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, okay. I'm, I've been lucky enough. Tesco have opened a new store in Newmarket, huge, monstrous place. The good bit about it is they've got a community room, which they're allowing local people who want to include, uh, do some stuff in the room for um, the community, they're uh, letting us have it. So I've been lucky enough to procure two days in the community room, one an evening and one a morning through lunchtime. So I've decided to put on a couple of workshops using artful means, really, to explore, play, dabble. They're workshops for anybody who wants to explore their creativity or wants to move forward with with their artistic endeavours. The first workshop I'm going to do is on a Monday evening. It's going to run for six weeks. And we're going to call it something like Big Brave Girls or Splendidly Imperfect Bodies. That's going to start on the 9th of November. And we're going to be using, it's it's an alternative to slimming clubs. Being, I won't say blessed with voluptuousness myself, uh, I know how hard it is for girls and women who struggle with issues around weight, self-esteem, how it blocks them from living a life that they would like to live. And I do appreciate how scary it can be sometimes when we can't verbalise how we feel. So slimming clubs are great. They're absolutely fantastic for people. But I feel there's a group of people that that slimming clubs may not work for. And so I'm going to use the art of journaling, playing, painting, uh, image making and other mediums, really, to help people make better choice around their food, celebrate their bodies no matter what size they are, and uh, and find some support from other like-minded people. So that will be the first group, and we'll do lots of exciting and fun things in there, as well as as be a source of of really good support to each other. And the other group I'm going to do, which will be on a Thursday uh, lunch, kind of lunchtime, 12 till 2, something like that, or 11.30 till 2, will be exploring from the wild heart, and that will be a six-week gentle, fun-filled exploration into expressive art, mindful self-awareness, and you get to play, dabble, um, have fun with paint, glitter, different, using different ways to make marks, and just really explore the creative process and, and let out what's waiting to be heard and what's waiting to be born. It's not about teaching how to. It's not how to paint lovely pictures. This is about messy art, discovery, delving into your soul whispers and having fun with the creative process. And along the way, there will be like-minded people sharing Again, it's kind of support also for any challenges you may be facing and you're not able to verbalise them. You can share or not share. It's entirely up to you. You can make messy splodges. You can make pretty pictures. You can do what you want. This is about the art of imperfection and enjoying the whole creative process and having some fun along the way. And that also will run for six weeks. Mm, They both sound absolutely brilliant and I suppose it's sort of healing on the inside instead of keep focusing on the outside really, isn't it? It it is and I don't want people to be frightened that it's going to be a boo-hoo-hoo, we all got to cry and howl type of group. Magical things happen if there are bits that, wounded bits that need healing, they art help art heals without a shadow of a doubt. And 
you will find that you will feel better about some things that you may not even want to share. But you will gain confidence. You will find strength to face challenges that you may be facing and all sorts of things as you dip and you dabble and you shine along with the artistic process. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely great. I mean, it sounds absolutely fantastic. And also with Tesco's giving, you know, letting you use this room. That's a nice idea, isn't it? That they have a community room there. I think it's well needed. I think, (laughs) I think, yeah, I think it's a great idea. And because they're letting us have the room for free, I'm able to make these workshops much cheaper than I would normally have to charge, you know. Mm. because obviously I don't have to pay for the room. I just have to cover my uh, materials, which they're all included, apart from the journal, which you bring. You can, I'm asking people to bring their own type of journal. But all the paper, the paints, all of the staff, the guided meditations, and all of, of my experience, I'm able to make that a really uh, heavily discounted price because of the, the, the room being free, which is fantastic. And also if there are people out there who would really love to do it and are really in need of it but absolutely cannot see their way to paying then of course I don't want money to be a barrier to to, for people who really really need it so I'm asking people to drop me an email send me a message let me know what your situation is and let's see what we can do for you okay so um do you have dates I do we're starting on Monday the 9th that's the first one Monday evening and that will be 6 30 until 9 9th of November. 9th of November, and that's for our big brave girls. That's for our... our wobb- 30 till 9. 6.30 till 9 o'clock, 6.30 yeah. 9 o'clock, Wobbly Warriors, welcome. And uh, we're starting the other one. We're going to do a morning exploring from the world hot. So we'll do that right. from 9.30 until... Tw- and, and 9.30 till 11.30. 9.30 till 11.30. 9.30 till 11.30 on Thursday the 12th of November. And then from 12 to do... We'll do a little, 12 till 2, we'll do a little lunchtime Big Brave Girls Club again for those who can't make it. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So you've actually got three sessions organised. I've got three sessions organised, yeah. I've got three sessions. I have, I have. That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, they sound excellent. Yes. Yeah. I am excited about it because I, I think it's a great way for, for anybody who's been thinking about doing something different or need something different or just wants to connect with others like-minded others I think it's a great way to come in you don't have to speak a word if you don't want to you can just splodge your way on on your on your paint with your paint and your, your paper but likewise if you know if you feel given to sharing then great it's a great way to share Okay, so Tesco's new market, is that quite easy to find? Really easy, it's huge. <laughs> it's just off the A14 on both sides, Berry side and Cambridge side. Plenty of parking, free tea and coffee, which is wonderful. And I'm sure that we'll have some nibbly bits, some goodies along the way to nibble on, I'm sure, there as well. And yeah, it should be lovely. And I know from past experience with running groups and workshops, the right people come together always, the, and the connections are always the connections that need to happen. And friends are made, and our friends are, are rediscovered. And the boys and girls upstairs have an, an amazing way of making sure the right people meet up with the right people. That's lovely. And you've also taken on a little room recently, haven't I've you? I've taken on a tiny, <laughs> tiny room. Well, the original idea really was to take on two tiny rooms, minuscule rooms in Burwell, the village I live, and um, I was going to actually do do something from there, but as soon as I put in a table and a chair, I'm afraid all the room was taken, and the back room's full of my art material. So, no, I can't do it from there. I can do my one-to-ones. I can do one-to-one, you know, I do my soul spirit days and my my little readings and my little coachings I can do one-to-one from there but mm. can't do any more than that certainly not for a big brave girls group because I think if we had two large large ones of us in there we wouldn't have an awful lot of room for a third or four uh, and I did say to a friend the other day you know we, we could start it with two and as we lose weight we could invite a third <laughs> <laughs> but no I'm just using that really as a base to make my creations and sell a few juicy bits to pay the rent, which is what we have to do in these. Fantastic. 
Okay, so if people want to get in touch with you about these fabulous workshops and they sound absolutely amazing, how do they get in touch with you, Detta? Okay, they can go on to my little studio page, which is Ben Biddy on um, Facebook. Ben, ben Biddy. F-E-N-N. Yes, Ben Biddy. B-I-D-D-Y. Ben Biddy on Facebook, yeah. Facebook, or they can they can email me on Bernadette Darnell at hotmail dot com. Yeah. Or if they just tap in, if they tap in Bernadette Darnell or Detta Darnell, they'll find me. I'd like to give my website, but it's in transition at the moment, along with much of my life. <laughs> yeah, I will have my new website up and running, Breathe in Space, soon. But at the moment, it's I'm still in the process of rejigging it and uh, reformatting it. So, but you'll find me. I'm always on Facebook and. I'm going to be at Tesco on um, Mondays and Thursdays in November. So there, you will always find find a way to get hold of me. Okay. Are you going to be putting on any retreats in Kefalonia next year, 2016? Yes, I am. Yes, I am, Jen. The, uh, the season's come to an end this year, and I'm now in the sort of process of just really organising. I'm going to do two groups retreats next year i have been doing one-to-ones or for two people i feel next year i would with everything else going on and i'm quite lucky in doing the workshops here i'd like to put on a couple of group retreats so the two retreats i'm going to put on next year so I'll, i'm going to be doing some for women who who want to come to Kefalonia and ha- explore the island have some rest have some restoration and just generally replenish all all of the stuff that life takes out really and we'll be going to different places beaches lovely beaches lovely experiences and there will be a space for anybody who wants to have any individual coaching perhaps just a session or they want some nurturing or some healing or a reading but predominantly that one will just be for women who want to come to Kefalonia enjoy the island eat great food see the beautiful beautiful island for what it is the magic of Kefalonia and don't really want to be on their own and do it there's time out for themselves but there's lots of time where in a group we can go and see different parts of the island that they wouldn't necessarily get to see so it's going to be a replenishment retreat really for women with busy lives and the second retreat will be in and that will be early that will be kind of june time and in september i'm going to do a retreat for big brave girls looking at weight issues body issues body restoration again eating great food going around seeing the island but more with the focus on celebrating your body celebrating who you are and finding ways to perhaps you know, make different choices around food and um, find a, a connection and support with other like-minded women. And that will be September. Yeah. And what a beautiful place to do it. I mean, it's Nothing. absolutely gorgeous yeah. there, stunning, um, very uplifting and the perfect place to just sort of work through some of these things. Yeah. Because, you know, I just think come away feeling totally different. Yeah. I certainly did. Okay. So, yeah, fantastic. Okay. Yeah. So, Thank you very much, Detta. It was absolutely fantastic, and it's all very exciting. Thank it's you. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Always a pleasure. Good luck with your natural co-creators. I think it's a marvellous thing you're doing. I think it's fantastic. Okay, thank you. Thank you.